Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is our second to last video of this makeup series where we will be doing a 50's style makeup today. If you can hear that, that is our dog. Our dog is going to be in these videos all the time now because she's freaking crazy. I almost guessed. But yeah, she's still a puppy, so just ignore her play toys. But as far as the 50's makeup goes, it's honestly pretty simple and pretty modern. So I'm just going to be doing a nude or brownish eyeshadow, then with a really winged eyeliner. So we'll go ahead and get started, start with the base. Also, just so you guys know, on all of our other videos where I said to leave comments and stuff, I guess our comments were turned off. What? Carl just came out of oh nowhere. Carlos, do you want to see how I do the peoples? Oh. Oh god, don't He me. does not like the puppy. Hey, come here. This is Snuggles, and they're breaking all my stuff. This is Snuggles. His name's Carl. He doesn't like the puppy right now. They're still getting to know each other. And the puppy's too hyper for him, so I'm going to go ahead and move him real quick. Juniper says sorry. Juni. Look how big she's growing. Oh my god. She's huge. She's right. huge, but she's still crazy like a puppy. And... Yeah, I don't even remember what I was saying. Anyway, right now we have a full house. We have two cats that are always here. But we also have Juniper, our puppy, and Cleo, which is my other dog uh, that we're dog sitting right now. So, she's really crazy. You're talking about comments. Unfortunately, our oh, comments yeah. were disabled. Yes, yeah, so our comments were disabled for some reason. We don't know how or why. Um, I think it was to do something with like kids or age or something. Anyway, so the comments are now up. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see or any questions you want to ask me that I can answer on future videos. So, let's go ahead and get started with... Juniper wants to 50s. give you this. <sighs> Thanks, Jim. Thanks for taking that. All right, let's get started. So today I think I'm gonna be using both tarts. I think I'm gonna try to mix them since this one is a little bit orange. Yeah, I mean, you guys can tell this is like orange. I don't know, does it look super orange once I blend it? No, it just looks a little darker. A little bit darker than my natural color. Because I'm very white, very ghostly. Ghostly with hints of pink. Okay, so now that I have just the base, we're going to go in with a lighter color and kind of add some definition to the spots that you want a little bit more highlighted than others. Always do it under the eye, around your forehead-ish, and down the center of your nose. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and blend that. For the 50s, if you really want to do a 50s look, like I said, you just do the black winged eyeliner, maybe some red lipstick, and most importantly though, I think is the outfit or how you do your hair, because like I said, this makeup look is done today pretty commonly. What'd she do? She like nailed her head on the bed. Oh golly. But yeah, now that the comments are back up, let us know if you want to do that um, puppy picks my makeup. She'd probably be horrible at it, but this would be fun. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm gonna go in with Glossier's Wowder, which is their powder um, for your face. Like I said in the other videos, I think this is just a good setting powder to go over your foundation. It's not very coverage, but it does set everything into place. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with the eyebrows. Lately, I've been doing just bushy eyebrows in all of these videos, but I think for the 50s, they had them a little bit more shaped, so I'm going to go ahead and try to shape them the best that I can. Okay, now that I have both eyebrows done, I'm just going to go ahead and brush through them, make sure everything gets a little bit more natural and mixed up. I haven't had like, I haven't shaped my eyebrows like this in a long time. I've been so lazy. It took so much time, but that was pretty fast. Okay, so 
for today's colors for the eyeshadows, I'm still using James Charles Morphe Morph palette. Still don't know how to say it. Use as many neutral colors as he has. So maybe like this color. If I'm feeling bold, maybe the little glitter. And then these browns and neutrals over here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for the first base color, I think I'm going to use this and this tan color. I'm going to mix them together here. Alright, now with a bit of a firmer brush, I'm going to go in uh, with this darker brown color here and just do the crease and kind of blend it out as much as possible. Basically what I'm doing is just using that firm brush to make a line in the crease and then I take a fluffy brush to kind of smooth it out and blend it in as much as possible. Now I'm going to go in with this white pearl color that I really like and just kind of add um, maybe a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of pearl, the lightest part. Why is she so hyper right now? She wants to get under the bed for some reason. Do you have a toy under there? No, but she's trying to push her big sloth toy under there and it's not working. It's not working, is it, baby? Dogs have the weirdest minds, the weirdest ideas. We're just trying to get places they don't belong, huh? Great. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the under eyelid. Um, we're going to use the same colors here just to make it one continuous piece. So starting with, I'm going to be using this and then going into these two colors. Okay, so now I think that pretty much like the easiest part is done. As usual, the hardest is always the winged eyeliner. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, I'm still on the same eyeliner problem that I was last time where I haven't found one that I really love too much yet. So, um, I've heard that Tarte has a really good one. It's like a clay one that you use with like your own brush. It comes with a little brush and you kind of just dip it and use that. So I might get that for the future. But right now I just have drugstore eyeliner. So let's go ahead and do the wing now. Alright, so the first eye is completed. Now to always do the other eye is the hardest part, right? Trying to make it look as even as possible. Especially going on the side that's not your dominant side. So let's go ahead and try that now. Oh no, this eyeliner is getting dry. I'm running out. Okay, and those look pretty even, pretty good to me. So. Now I'm just going to go ahead in with some bronzer, and honestly, that's pretty much it. I don't really know. I might go through with some highlighter a little bit, um, but then, you know, didn't really have too much sparkle or shine back then. So let's just go ahead and add some bronzer. Okay, so now that the bronzer is good, I think I'm just going to go in with maybe like a gold highlighter. Um, it's from this packet. I got it from Hush, that one app that is now off the market. Um, I don't know, it's called Cara Glow Dust Palette. I don't know where else you could get this, honestly. So I'm just going to go ahead in with some gold. I've dropped it multiple times. That's why those colors are out. I'm just going to go in with their gold color that they have. That. Along her cheekbones, her nose, over her lips, and then take a smaller brush and go through your eyes. So on top of your eyebrow bones, add that shine. It's actually a really pretty look I would just do normally. It's usually the red lipstick that I don't typically do. I don't even really have a red lipstick. So I'll show you what I'm going to use. Um, if I were you, I would use your cherry red, just perfectly red lipstick uh, to do this 50s look. But since I don't have that, I'm going in with kind of like um, 
a more maroon color. So I'm just gonna grab that in one second. Just kidding, it's already on my table. So it's NYX and um, it's this color. So um, since there's really not that much else to do except my lashes and lipstick, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually put on the lipstick for you guys today. Usually I just do it off camera, but let's just go ahead and do that. Um, I'm lining my lips with the same exact color of NYX. When I line my lips, I don't really go around the whole lips. I go around the parts that I think need to be shown off more. So the bottom and then kind of the top, but I don't go all the way down the edges because sometimes it doesn't turn out very good for me. So is our dog up okay? Is she putting herself under the bed? Yes. And then expected her toy to follow her and when it didn't and she looked behind her and it wasn't under the bed she started barking at it as to say come on homie come on. and it bed? wouldn't listen to her so she got aggressive she's not even aggressive she just i don't know yes i'm putting my lip liner below my lip okay and now it's such a problem but for this look i really wanted you know the small but big kind of pursed up lips so I kind of made these skinny but big at the bottom and big at the top. So now let's just go ahead and take your brush, fix any messes that you made with your lip liner and after that we should be pretty much good to go. I feel like this video was the quickest just like I said because these looks are still in today so it's not you know that hard or that much of a challenge that's why i really want you guys to reach out comment below what ideas you have for us to do for me to do for makeup for us to do for photos or just any fun challenges um that you have in your head because we're up for anything we will take your challenges so tell us below we'll take them all i'll take them all it doesn't have to be related to makeup it can definitely can be yeah makeup photography just fun challenges with friends anything we want to do challenges we want to show all of our personality on this channel it's not subject to makeup it's not subject to photography but those are two of our passions so any ideas you guys have please let us know okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get my lashes done and my hair ready not sure how i'm gonna do that and we shall roll the sequence in three two that sequence and this look and please stay tuned for our last episode of this series which will be next Thursday thank you so much and we'll see you next time bye don't forget to press subscribe and like this video and comment for any ideas for us to do in the future and right. that dinger bell and hit that bell bye guys love you Juniper wants to be the star of the show. June! Oh my goodness, you're so pretty!